Hey guys, in this video, we're diving into the world of Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered to explore whether the multiplayer lobbies are still active in 2024. Now, originally released in 2007, Call of Duty 4 or Call of Duty Modern Warfare we revolutionized the FPS genre and quickly became a fan favorite. I know it was one of mine growing up. However, the remastered version released in 2016 brought updated graphics and a refined gameplay experience while staying true to the original um, game. It brought things like new guns, it brought new weapon skins, a uh, new way to level up and earn in-game currency without having to buy and still being able to get the latest um, skins, latest guns, etc. So, join us as we investigate how the community has held up over the years and whether it's still worth jumping into this castle game lobby. Now for me, I got this game back in 2017 or 2016 when it was released. I'm not too sure. I got it as a part of my Call of Duty Infinite Warfare bundle. So, when you, if you bought Call of Duty Infinite Warfare when it came out, originally back in the day, was, this, I think this was around December, you would also get a free copy of Modern Warfare Remastered, and that's how I was able to play this game. Okay, let's see how fast we can find the lobby. I think we'll do a couple games, I think TDM, we'll do some Search and Destroy, some Domination, nothing too, too much. Okay, that didn't take some time. Mm, there's my account. I haven't played this game in a long time. It's been years. Is this little stick and move? Yeah. Alright, let's see if we can find the game. We're going to do the standard game modes. Let's try TDM. See how fast that takes. I think I'll pick Strike. I prefer Strike over Warden. Okay, that was not long at all. We were able to find a match in... Uh, Pretty decent time. I don't, I don't see any issues with that. Let's see how the gameplay goes.
Okay, that's not bad. Okay, now I must say the game was good. Um, Performance-wise, there was no, I wasn't lagging. The game seemed to be running optimal. Then again, I'm, I am running this on the PS5. I'm not running this on my PS4. I upgraded a year ago, but um, everything seems 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 good to me, you know. And for not be for not playing the game for so long, I think I did pretty well within the lobby. I know I seemed a bit slow within the gameplay, but hey, we were we were able to drop a uh, helicopter on them, so that's good. So I think next we're gonna try to do a domination game, maybe a search and destroy game, and then that should do it for me. But the game looks alive. It looks good. There's people. There's a full lobby. That was a full lobby. There, there were no missing persons on anything. We had a full lobby from start to end. So. The game is still alive, and that's good, you know, for something that I got years ago, I can still come back and play the game, I can relive the game, I can go through it if I, if I want. Okay, so let's get ourselves into a uh, domination match. Mm, crash sounds good. That was crazy fast. And went through Crash too, so that's not bad. I mean, I prefer the original Crash, but uh, I'll play this. That was fast. I didn't expect this. That this game is just. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even think I could do this on uh, World War Two. Securing Alpha. Domination. Take your prisoners, comrades. I secure. Enemy artillery. Be secure.
Helicopter support standing by. Friendly helicopter on the way! Now that was a horrendous match on my part. <laughs> that that did not play well. I was not good for that team in any way. But um, in terms of the 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 level of um activity in the game and the skill level, I can see that it's still there. Then again, I'm not too good. You know, I haven't been playing Call of Duty or any first-person shooters for a while. I've mostly been playing um <clears throat> story-based games like God of War, Elden Ring, and what's not. But um, this this was this was fantastic. I can definitely see myself playing this game for uh, an entire day, and not get bored. That that whole match was fun for me. So, after playing about two matches, I don't think I'll be doing the search and destroy tonight. Uh, I'm very tired and I'm I'm coming over a uh, flu at the moment. But um, overall, I was ple pleasantly surprised by how active the lobbies still are in. Modern Warfare Remastered, even in in this year, 2024. Um, and again, like I said, I was playing on the PS5. The game ran smoothly on the PS5. No performance issues whatsoever. And the nostalgia of dropping a helicopter streak brought back great memories. I, I, I remember just camping out some areas so I don't get killed. Because you know there's sometimes that... This is a specific term. Cod timing happens. You watch a corner, and the moment you do leave, that's it for you. You're done. So that brought back great memories for me. And if you're thinking about jumping back into the game, wait for some classic Call of Duty action, or just to see if the community is still alive, I say it's definitely worth checking out. The player base may not be as large as it once was, but there's still plenty of fun to be had. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any recent experience with the game or if you there's any game you'd like me to check out. I think the next game I'll be doing is called the World War II. I believe that was the game that came out after Infinite Warfare, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, then I'll be checking out Black Ops 4. If you guys want to see what happens next, stay tuned, click that notification button, and I'll see you then.